Why do fish always sing off key? You can't tune a fish. Today, I'm going to recap a 2018 drama fantasy film called Apostle. In the first part of the story, we meet Thomas Richardson, who is nervously reading a letter from his sister while on a train. The letter says that his sister Jennifer has been taken and is being held for money by a religious group. We then see a memory where Thomas comes back home after being away for a long time and finds his sister gone and his dad very sick. The family's lawyer tells Thomas where Jennifer is, Welch Island. He also tells Thomas to pretend to join the religious group and not to give them money until they let his sister go. In the current time, Thomas leaves the train and goes to get on a boat to the island. While waiting, he sees that his ticket has a unique red mark, different from the others. Smartly, he pretends to help someone else and switches tickets. This lets Thomas get on the boat, while the other man with the red marked ticket gets a cross on his bag. On the boat, a storm makes a goat fall into where the people are. Thomas picks it up, but another person takes it from him and throws it into the sea, saying it's a sacrifice for their god. In the morning, they get to the shore and walk to an old village. There, everyone is checked and questioned before being sent to their homes. That night, Thomas goes out to look around the village. He sees people bringing an unconscious man. Thomas is curious but doesn't get involved. Then he goes to a church where the leader of the group, Malcolm Howe, talks about the island. Malcolm tells how he and his friends, Frank and Quinn, left England because of religious problems and came here. Later, the unconscious man, who is the one Thomas switched tickets with, is beaten by Malcolm, Frank, and Quinn. They think he is Jennifer's dad, here to save her, and ask for money. But the man doesn't know what's happening. Angry, they cut his throat and kill him. Still, Malcolm thinks there's someone new in their village. That same evening, Thomas quietly leaves his small house and goes through the village, trying to find his sister. While he's out, he sees a man cutting his wife's arm to use her blood as a gift to their gods. He also spies on Malcolm, the leader of the group, going down a hidden trapdoor in his house. Then he sees Jeremy, Frank's son, and Fian, Quinn's daughter, sneaking back after spending some romantic time together. After seeing all this, Thomas goes back to his place. When he's unlocking his door, he accidentally hurts his hand. Inside, his blood strangely moves towards the cracks in the wooden floor. The next day, a knock wakes Thomas up. At the door, he finds Jeremy, who tells him to come to work. While working, Jeremy asks Thomas why he was out the previous night. Thomas says he was just smoking. Later, Jeremy takes Thomas to the beach and shows him a broken boat. Jeremy tells him about a spy who tried to escape the island but drowned. He thinks their god killed the spy to protect their group. Then Thomas shows Jeremy a photo of his sister and asks about her. This makes Jeremy nervous and he tries to leave, but Thomas makes him tell what he knows. Jeremy says Jennifer was taken to get money because the group doesn't have enough food or the things they need for their regular animal gifts to keep the island fertile. Thomas asks Jeremy to help him find his sister, promising to keep quiet about Jeremy's relationship. Meanwhile, Fian is talking to her friend Andrea, who is Thomas's daughter. Fian thinks she might be pregnant with Jeremy's child. She's scared they might get in trouble because their group says having a relationship before marriage is wrong. Andrea doesn't judge her and says she'll help her. Later in the day, Malcolm gathers all the new members of the group at the church. He talks about someone breaking a rule, not staying in one's room after the evening bell. To find who did it, he tells everyone to kneel and say the group's prayer. Each loyal member takes turns saying it, which worries Thomas. Soon, Malcolm asks the man next to Thomas to keep going with the prayer. The man stays quiet, then reveals he's a secret English agent. He tries to attack Malcolm with a knife, but Thomas stops him and gets hurt. Then, the guards kill the agent with their spears. After that, Thomas is taken to a medical place where Andrea helps with his injury. While she's putting a bandage on, Thomas asks if she hates her dad for bringing her into this group, but Andrea doesn't respond. At night, Malcolm walks Jennifer through the village, threatening to kill her if her partner doesn't come out. Thomas sees this from his window, but can't find the bravery to face Malcolm. Malcolm then sets a time limit for the unknown person to show up. The next morning, Jennifer is tied up and kids are teasing her. 
Soon, Andrea brings her food and a blanket, tells the kids to leave, and says she'll do her best to keep Jennifer safe. Meanwhile, Fan checks if she's pregnant in the bathroom, not knowing her dad, Quinn, is watching through a crack in the door. He feels something is wrong, but keeps it to himself. Later, Thomas sees his sister being moved and tells Jeremy to be ready for his plan that night. That evening, Malcolm holds a big feast for the village, giving everyone food. The feast is actually Malcolm's way to keep people busy so he can search their houses. Shortly after, Thomas leaves his small house and runs into Andrea. She invites him to dance, but he says no, because he needs to go through with his plan to save someone. Then Thomas meets Jerry behind Malcolm's house. He breaks in and goes down to a secret basement, which leads to a dark tunnel. At the same time, Malcolm, Quinn, and Frank are searching Thomas's room. They find a map of their house, which makes them sure that Thomas is the one causing trouble. They quickly head to Malcolm's house. Frank gets there first and sees his son keeping watch. He sends his son away to avoid any doubts about the boy being involved. Soon after, Quinn goes into the tunnel, while Malcolm gets a shotgun and goes to the other end of the tunnel. Inside the tunnel, Thomas feels like someone is following him. To hide, he jumps into a sewer full of blood and dirt. After a bit, a scary old lady comes out of the blood and goes towards Thomas, which scares him. Panicked, he crawls away and finds himself in a dark cave on the beach. When he looks back, the lady is gone. Thomas uses a lighter to see and finds the cave walls have drawings of a god. Outside, Malcolm is at a barn where the same old lady is tied up with tree roots. She's the god the group worships. Malcolm scolds her for showing herself to Thomas, then feeds her his blood. As she drinks, the plants holding her start to grow. The next day, Andrea finds Thomas in the cave and gives him some clothes to change into. She sees a lot of bruises on his back and asks about them. Thomas says he used to be a Christian missionary in China, but he was caught and hurt by the locals. They burned his back. This made him lose his faith because he felt abandoned by God. After talking, Andrea takes him to a wheat field and shows him a hiding spot. In the village, Fian tells Jeremy she's pregnant, which makes him happy. He shares his plan to leave the village for good with his dad and wants Fian to come with him. She's excited about starting a new life and agrees. Jeremy goes to get ready while Fian packs. Soon, Quinn comes in and asks what's happening. Fian tells him about the baby and her decision to keep it. This angers Quinn, who thinks it's a sin. He attacks her, trying to end the pregnancy, but this leads to her death. Later, Jeremy comes back and finds Fian dead, covered in blood. Heartbroken, he fights with Quinn, trying to get revenge. Quinn escapes the house, yelling for help. He gets everyone's attention and blames Jeremy for Fian's death. Jeremy, feeling trapped and scared, runs to the wheat field and asks Andrea to help prove he didn't do it. But it's too late, as guards catch Thomas and Jeremy and bring them back to the village. In the next part, Quinn sets up a public execution. He puts Jeremy in a device and uses a metal drill to hurt the back of his head. Then, Malcolm and Frank show up and argue with Quinn about what he's doing. Quinn calls Malcolm a fake leader and weak. He also wants Malcolm to kill Thomas, but Frank pulls out a gun, planning to kill the god. Thomas uses the chaos to fight the guards and escape. He follows Frank to the barn where the god is kept. When Frank gets to the barn, he's shot by the god's masked caretaker, Grinder. Frank, dying, tells Thomas to burn the barn. Grinder leaves and Thomas sneaks in through a hidden way. Not long after, Quinn and Malcolm come to the barn. Quinn tries to shoot Grinder, but Malcolm stops him. Angry, Quinn shoots Malcolm, causing him to fall into the tunnel. In the barn, Thomas sees Grinder taking blood from a dead body to give to the god. When Grinder leaves for a bit, Thomas looks around and finds bags, one with Jennifer inside. He quickly opens it and takes his sister out. They hug and Thomas promises to bring her home. But then, Grinder comes back, hits Thomas, and takes Jennifer again. Later, Thomas wakes up tied to a table used for grinding meat, with hooks in his hands and legs. He's slowly pulled toward sharp blades and loses his fingers. But he manages to get free and fights Grinder. Thomas wins and kills Grinder with the grinding machine. Then he faces the god, who asks to be set free. 
Instead, Thomas lights a lantern and sets the barn on fire, which spreads through the village. At the same time, Quinn, who has Andrea and Jennifer chained up, talks about using them for sacrifices. Just then, Thomas arrives and fights Quinn. In the chaos, the girls get Quinn's gun and free themselves. Together, they kill Quinn. Thomas is badly hurt, but still helps the girls get to the boats so they can leave with other villagers. On their way, Thomas falls and seems to be dying from his wounds. Knowing he can't survive, he tells them to leave and says goodbye. As he bleeds, plants grow around him and become part of his body. His eyes change to look like the gods, showing he's become the new protector of the island. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.